Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me Hema Subramanian. Mushrooms are one of my favorites and anything you make with mushrooms becomes exotic very easily. So today I am going to show an easy yet delectable restaurant style mushroom curry recipe. This goes well with breads or flavored rice and what not. Aren't you guys waiting to see what it is? So why wait, let's get started and check it out. For this recipe, I've taken 600 grams of fresh button mushrooms, washed it nice and clean and I've cut them into medium sized slices. To a nice wide kadai or pan, add about 3 tablespoons of oil. Next, add a few whole spices, cinnamon, cloves, cardamom and 1 teaspoon of shahi jeera. Next, I'm adding 2 large onions finely chopped. Now, if you don't have shahi jeera, you can just use the regular cumin seeds. After about 3 to 4 minutes, now add about 5 green chilies slit and continue to cook the onions. So once the onions have turned to a nice golden brown color, add about 2 teaspoons of ginger garlic paste. After about a minute, add the puree of 6 medium sized tomatoes. Keeping the flame on a medium high, cook the tomatoes till all the excess moisture is evaporated and it becomes nice and thick. So you can see the masala has become nice and thick, all the excess moisture is evaporated and there is no more raw smell. So next I'm going to season it with 1 teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, 2 teaspoons cumin powder, 2 teaspoons coriander powder. Next add 3 teaspoons Kashmiri red chilli powder and mix everything well. Now add the sliced mushrooms. So you can see I've added all the mushrooms, they are nice and fresh. Anytime you want to make any dish using mushrooms, just make sure it's good quality and it's nice and fresh. So you can see the mushrooms are beautifully coated with the masala and they're also becoming nice and tender. After 5 minutes, add about 1.5 cups of water and mix everything well. You can increase or decrease the quantity of water depending on the masala and the mushrooms that you're using. Wow, the color of that dish looks so rich and beautiful. So at this point, you can check for seasoning and if you do need to add a little bit of salt, you can add it. It's a very simple and easy dish to make and the flavors are just amazing. Close the kadai and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. The curry has come together beautifully. Now finally, I'm just going to add about 2 teaspoons of garam masala powder. Mix that in. And continue to simmer for about 2-3 to three minutes after adding the garam masala. To finish off, I'm adding some chopped coriander leaves. So there you go, this delicious mushroom curry is perfect with any sort of rotis, chapatis, fulkas or even with some nice jeera rice or any pulao. I'll give you a couple of links to the other mushroom recipes that I've made. Do check them out as well. There are several varieties of mushrooms available in the market, but this dish tastes best with button mushrooms. So if you're looking for something tasty and restaurant style, this is a meal to go to. Do try, enjoy and share it with your family and friends. So for more exciting and wonderful recipes, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get your notifications. The second edition of our home cooking book is now available on our website 21frames.in. I'll give you the link in the description, you can go and check it out. The book is currently available only in India for now, so you can place your orders on 21frames.in.